hello and welcome to another video with me on my channel Psycho. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be testing something that's a little controversial and that is using nicotine as a nootropic. Nootropic is a term used to kind of classify all drugs or supplements that will increase your cognitive functioning. You may wonder, why would I try such a harmful thing as nicotine? Although I'm not going to act like nicotine is completely harm-free, a lot of the dangers we know are actually caused by tobacco and all the toxins that are in cigarettes and harmful effects of inhaling smoke, whether that's from a cigarette, cigar, or even vaporization. Nicotine by itself is still addictive, uh, but not as much as when it's in the form of tobacco. And there are obviously some people who should not take nicotine at all, especially if you're genetically prone to having cancer or tumors or blood clots. But aside from that, nicotine is pretty interesting because it has been shown to correlate to lower chance of people developing neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Additionally, because of how it works on receptors in the brain, specifically acetylcholine receptors, it can be a great reinforcer. It has been shown to speed up your working memory, increase attention span, um, many beneficial things that are similar to the effects of caffeine, but a little bit different because, again, they work on different receptors in the brain. So... I'm going to be trying it in gum form, um, and my main goal with it will be for reinforcing positive behaviors. I want to be more consistent with reading and in my work, so I'm hoping that by combining nicotine as a kind of reinforcer, using it to condition myself, that I'll be able to stick those habits better. I don't want to get addicted to it. I did smoke cigarettes for five years a long time ago, so I'm really going to be cautious on pacing myself and maybe only use it sporadically throughout the week when I know I have a big project that day or I'm really having trouble focusing on my reading or whatever it is. Also, not just because of avoiding risk of addiction, sporadically rewarding yourself, reinforcing yourself, is shown in psychology to actually make you more habituated on that task. If you are consistently receiving a reward every time you do something, you're going to start becoming dependent on that reward. Whereas if you only sometimes out of nowhere get rewarded for that, you actually have more of a drive to continue and try to get that reward. And that's why gambling works so well because only very few times will you actually get that jackpot, but it's that possibility of a few chance of that excitement and rush that you might get that keeps you going. So I'm going to treat this in a similar way. And in this video, you will come along with me and see how that goes. All right. Well, to start off this experiment, here is a book that I have been struggling to read for a very long time. It is A Brief History of Time by Stephen Hawking. Um, I bought this book like a year and a half ago, maybe even longer, and I read like 20, 30 pages of it, and the concepts in it are so, so, so fascinating, and he even presents physics in a very approachable way that most people can understand, um, but all the history of cosmology and physics talks in general is a little dry to get past for someone who doesn't really have any background or strong passion for it. But I feel like the book as a whole will probably have so much to teach me. So there is my partial unread book review, I guess, unnecessarily, but... That's why I think I really could use some nicotine, nicotine gum to actually get through this book finally. 
So these ones I got are two milligrams. Um, they had either two or four milligrams. I don't know if I should start with half just because I really haven't had any form of nicotine in a very, very long time. Um, so I'll just have half just to be safe. Oh my God. So this flavor wasn't actually horrible. It's just not like the minty fresh gum I was expecting. So I don't know. I ended up having the other half of the gum. So the whole two more grams. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, which is chewing a few times and then letting it sit between my teeth and my lips because it has to be absorbed by your blood vessels. Um, so I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's probably been like 15 minutes. I'm not really feeling much. Like, again, it has been a while since I tried to read this book specifically. And my God, is my mind wandering so much. Like I haven't been reading that much in general, but especially like a very physics heavy book. It's two milligrams of nicotine. It's not really helping with focus, like it says it will. Also, my mouth is salivating so much. I don't know, man. So attempt one did not really work out. Um, even while chewing this gum, I didn't even really feel the effects of it and it did not help me read this at all. I was so distracted. I would get a few sentences and then realize I wasn't even paying attention to what I was reading. Have you ever done that? I hate that. And you have to go back and reread it all. So I was like, there must be some way to make this work. I figured because this book was too challenging to stay focused on, it was overpowering any positive feeling I was getting from the nicotine. So I decided instead for the next few weeks, every few days or so, I would chew the gum when I was doing something that I already found enjoyable that required my attention. So that would be things such as long drives while listening to podcasts, watching a documentary, or doing stuff for work that I enjoy. And my goal was by doing so that chewing the, the scum every time I did something that was enjoyable, it would enhance that association that nicotine would bring on a positive rewarding feeling. And it actually worked. So over the next few weeks, um, every time in between all those enjoyable things, I would try to read this book. And each time I noticed my focus and memory of what I was reading was getting so much better. Like I mentioned, during that first attempt, I would barely get through a few sentences without getting distracted. Second time, I was able to get through a few pages. Um, a third time, I read a lot more pages. And then within a few weeks, suddenly I was done with this book. So the final verdict is yes, nicotine can help enhance activities that you're not giving your all in. But if it is too neutral or negative of a task that you're pairing it with, you might need to condition your mind to associate the nicotine with more positive rewards or behaviors before you can use it as a tool to enhance those more difficult ones. It is a little bit different from a caffeine or Adderall stimulant type high where you're not super like jittery and energized. It's more kind of like a calm euphoric flow state that it takes you into. While coffee or tea may be useful, you know, in the morning when you're about to go off to work and you need to get that extra boost of energy and Adderall might be helpful when you have a long paper to write and you need to stay up and stay focused. Um, I think nicotine is more when you are reading a book or trying to do a, trying to learn a new language, especially because it does help you retain information in your memory. Whereas it's actually shown that stimulants like Adderall have an adverse effect on your memory while you are on them. I should note though, that I did find it could get kind of addictive. 
Um, for example, if I was on a long road trip and I finished a piece of gum, I would find myself an hour later being like, hmm, I should have another piece of gum. And I was like, no, I shouldn't. It definitely took awareness and discipline to only let myself have one piece of gum every few days or something. I could see how it quickly would become a habitual thing where you finish a piece of gum and then right after want to have another piece. So if you are someone with an addictive personality, I would advise you not to take it. But if you do think you have the will to just use it as a tool to enhance things, not as a recreational thing or constant mood booster, then I think you can reap a lot of benefits from it. I went through one of these in the three weeks I was experimenting with it. So that's 10 pieces of gum spread out through over 21 days. And in the last two weeks, I haven't chewed any of the nicotine gum at all because I haven't had any need to. And again, I don't want to build a tolerance or dependence on it. I have a shitload left. This comes with 110 pieces. So it's a good thing that these don't expire for another year and a half because I think that's probably how long it's going to take me to go through them. But yeah, so let me know in the comments below, have you ever taken nicotine for its cognitive boosting effects? How did you like it? If not, what's your opinion on it? And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. I do a bunch of self experiments and talk about things related to the psyche and healing. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time.